What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby Baby. What's poppin', Laker Nation? It's your boy, Big Baby Jonathan here. Welcome to the latest edition of the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast Show. And in today's show, I'm going to be previewing Lakers versus Milwaukee for Friday and preview Lakers Clippers for Sunday. Let's talk about the Lakers Milwaukee game for Friday. Um, my thoughts about that game right now, man, it's it's a must win because if we lose to this team, we'll be 0-2 versus Milwaukee. And I just feel like we need to come out to a better start. It ain't going to be easy. I feel like this game is going to be one of those games where we have to have AD drop 40 points, 12 rebounds, 7 blocks. LeBron has to have a triple-double because Kumpo is averaging 26 points again. Actually, excuse me, 29.6 points per game. Shoots 55% from the field, 62% from free throw. He's averaging 13 rebounds, almost 12. You know what I mean? And he has averaging 5 assists a game, which LeBron averaged 10 assists. You know what I mean? And it's going to be a tough game. Milwaukee scores about 119 points a game. And opposing against, like, Milwaukee doesn't give up. Only gives up 106 a game. But Lakers score 114, give up 107. So it's going to be a a game where we need to uh, come in and play our best game of the season. Because last time we played in Milwaukee, we got beat. You know, it was back and forth. And we we missed timely shots. The bench uh, from Milwaukee killed us with George Hill. Kyle Korver, you know what I mean? They came in and dominated us that game. Kumpa did his, did his thing in the post. And I want to see this team, this Laker team, come in really good on Friday. You know, play that defense that we normally like to play. Rotate, play with that passion, you know. Because yesterday against the 76ers, we played horrible in the first quarter and then went on a 34-10 to 10 run to end the half. And we won the game. But we can't be doing that all the time. We can't be... Oh, we're bored against this team. Let's turn up. We gotta, have, we have to have a good start on Friday. You know what I mean? Because it's a, it this this is the potential NBA Finals matchup right here, Milwaukee, um, Lakers. But here's the thing. I know. I think I I know how. I think the Lakers could beat Milwaukee. Just trap Kumpo. Trap him. If he forces it out, if Chris Middleton scores. Oh well. You know what I mean? Let the others try to beat you, not Kumpo. You know what I mean? Um. You know what team did that? Miami. Miami did that on Kumpo. They forced, they trapped them. They're playing tough defense on them and they're forcing turnovers, getting on transition. So Lakers should watch film on, on Miami how to um, contain Kumpo. So did Toronto when they had Kawhi Leonard. You know what I mean? They contained them really good. Um, they closed the lanes. They're like, okay, you can, you're not going to just dribble, spin, dunk. We're going to close the lane. Shoot, try to beat us. You know what I mean? His jumper's improving, but I think. His ball handling skills a little bit, little bit overrated. You know what I mean. So, what the Lakers need to do is trap, force turnovers, do your thing that you normally do in each game, and hopefully Alex Crusoe plays so he can bring that spark. You know what I mean. So he can bring that spark that we need. And I just want to see Kuzma step up. He has to step up, man, because I feel like his scoring is starting to go down a little bit. It's all in the it's it's a mind game right now for Kuzma. No, I mean he could get it together. I feel like he can get it together, but he's just gonna have to uh just do the little thing like I keep saying, rotate like rotate the basketball when he gets double team because they sometimes they double team him. But last night he struggled and know what uh, Sixer did? He was on a dribbling up the ball by himself. Seventy Sixers okay go ahead shoot missed and put his head down. You can't be doing that Kuzma if you miss shot you just keep shooting man. Just keep shooting, block everything out, and play your game. I know you have a great game in you this season, man. It's coming too, man. I'm telling you right now, Kuzma's going to have a great game before the season's over. You know what I mean? But um, what the crazy thing is, Milwaukee is a uh, great road team. 25-6 and six on the road. That is cr- unbelievable. You know, Mike Bootenholder is a good coach over there in Milwaukee, man. You know? But here's the thing. Corver. Might not play that game Friday, or George Hill, or Alex Caruso. So we'll see what the game is like on <clears throat> Friday. But here's the thing for me, man. Um, I need Anthony Davis to have a good game. He's averaging 26 points per game, shooting 51% from the field and 84% from the free throw line. He's averaging 9.5 rebounds a game, 7.2 defensive rebounds in the game. And LeBron's averaging 10.7 assists a game. I need LeBron 
to take over this game too with AD. We need to have the same amount of wins as Milwaukee. I feel like we could catch Milwaukee still for that number one seed in the NBA. You know what I mean? Um, LeBron has to have <clears throat> one of those games. What he did against the Pelicans with 40 points, dunking, you know, posting up, spinning, layup every play. He needs to do that against Milwaukee. Because I feel like if he turns it up against Milwaukee, he's going to do his thing. You know what I mean? Appreciate the whistle. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, man. I just need LeBron to turn up on Friday, do his thing, shoot from the Laker logo, get going. You know what I mean? His He has a different approach to this season, man. He's more willing to play point guard. I know he played point guard a lot during Cleveland, Miami, but like bring the ball up more. and It's, like, it's crazy, man, how the second team from last year to this year, we have a whole different team and coaching staff's better. Everything's just good right now for us. Everything's going well. We're 47 and 13, man. We're three wins away from 50. I'm excited. But that game for me, man, Milwaukee is most important. It's a must win for us, man. We have to win on Friday in order to, okay, Lakers beat Milwaukee with Kumpo and everybody healthy. But if we lose, you know what everybody's going to say in the media and on the sports talk shows on the radio, we can't be we can't be Milwaukee in the finals. We can't. That's what they're probably going to say. And they're going to just throw negativity at LeBron like they always do. They're just going to be talking mess like they always do. So for the Lakers need to do is come in Friday, play with hustle, grit, grind, and just come in, show. Because sh- Lakers have beaten teams that are playoff teams, but I want to see us beat the teams that you need to beat in order to be a championship team. This is a championship contending team, Lakers. Lakers is a championship team. We're going to win it all this year. But I want to see us, I want really want to see us um, play really good on Friday. You know, I really want to see us play good Friday. You know what I mean? I just want to see us play good Friday. I just, I'm just I'm excited for Friday. It's going to be a tough task, but I feel like we can do a good job. AD and Kumpo versus each other. It's going to be a good matchup. Both can score. Both can play defense. I want to see AD lock Kumpo down. Try to slow him down. You know what I mean? Bam out of Bayou slowed him down. So let's, AD's going to do it too. AD was everywhere. Last night against the 76ers. Taking charges, blocking shots, re- rebound, taking rebounds away from Sixer players. I need AD to turn up like that on Friday. You know what I mean? They don't play until Friday. So it's it's going to be a game where we need to uh, basically play the game of the year, in my opinion. That's just me. But, uh, yeah, and I'm going to talk about the game from for Sunday Clippers-Lakers. My thoughts about that game. We need to win that one as well because we're zero two against the Clippers. We should be two and one or two and zero. We were up ten in the first quarter against the Clippers, and it was tied going into the fourth quarter against the Clippers opening night. And then on Christmas, it was tied going into the fourth quarter again. We got cold, didn't execute. I want to see us come out with tenacity, play interested. Don't be lack of days on defense because if you play lack of days on this Clipper team, they can punch you in the mouth. And we don't want that. You know, they got talented players over there. Montrezl Harrod, Lou Williams, Zubak, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Markeith Morris, Reggie Jackson. They got Montre- They got a bunch of players over there that compete at the highest level. But for me, LeBron has to turn it up against Kawhi. He needs to say, okay. You're talking out of that noise? Let me drop a 50, 40 piece on you. Triple double. Let's go home. Let's win this game. I need LeBron to turn up. I need AD to turn up Sunday. It's basically this this game right here on uh, Sunday is a potential Western Conference Finals preview. Do I think it's going to happen? Um, we'll keep it real. Probably, but you never know. It's the NBA, so you never know what can happen. Rockets can upset the Clippers in the second round. They can get beat in the first round. You never know. That's how... It is in the playoffs. You expect, oh, these two teams are going to play in the West Conference Finals, NBA Finals, and then a team that you don't expect to win the series beats the team that you beats the Clippers, and then the next round they lose. So it's kind of, NBA is a, you can win in this league any type of way, you know? So Clipper, the Lakers need to go in the post, get AD going. No one on the Clippers can guard AD, not Montres Harold, not Markeith Morris, not Kawhi Leonard, not Paul George. Not Zubak, not anybody on the Clippers can guard AD. Not nobody. So AD needs to drop at least 35 points, 
12 rebounds, 7 blocks. He needs to be that dominant force that he's always been. Everybody said, oh, and when he gets to the playoffs, he shrinks. He's averaging 30 points on 50% shooting in the playoffs. That team that he had in, on the Pelicans was garbage, you know. I know he beat Portland, but the next series he got swept by the Golden State Warriors. But here's what I'm trying to say. Ooh. Appreciate joining the broadcast, man. Jack the Beast. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, Yeah, that series that he got swept by, he was dominating that series, you know. He's a dominant big man, and I need him to dominate whoever's in his way. I want him to go spin between the legs and one like he did against Philly last night. I want to see him dominate. I want to see this Anthony Davis yelling and screaming, blocking shots. I want to see us getting excited, you know. But at the end of the day, it's going to be a competitive matchup. Do I think Lakers going to beat the Clippers? Hell yeah, I think we're going to beat the Clippers. We're going to beat the LA Clippers on Sunday. You can hear it here first. We're going to win. You know what I mean? (laughs) It's crazy. Yeah, so it's just it's just crazy how the media just loves the like just raves about the Clippers. They're a talented team, but I feel like they have flaws. You know what I mean? There's nights where the Clippers don't perform well and the media hides from that. Oh, they didn't have a good game, oh they're just resting for the playoffs. But when the Lakers have a better game, oh they're not championship ready, they're this and that. It's like Come on, man. Nobody want to hear that. Criticize the Clippers like you do the Lakers. People on Speak for Yourself um, with Marcellus Wiley and uh, Jason Whitlock, they always be talking the most. Them two, man. Marcellus Wiley follows me on Twitter, man, but he'll be he'll be talking some nonsense. The same narrative. Oh, Lakers this, Lakers that. I bet you can't go 24 hours, 72 hours without talking about the, the LA Lakers, Mar- Marcellus Wiley. Come on now. I'll bet you any day of the week. They won't be able to do it. Same with Clipper Darrow. You know, get out of L.A., Clippers. Go back to San Diego. But, like, I just, if we, here's the thing. If we lose to the Clippers, we're 0-2 right now. And if we lose again, if we lose on Sunday, we'll be 0-3. And then we got another one in April. If we go 0-4 against them, well, I'd be worried. If we go 0-4 against Clippers, no, you know why? Because... The year that the Lakers lost, as they were trying to three-peat 2011 when they won the championship in 2010, um, we beat the Dallas Mavericks. We swept them in the in the regular season. And when it came to playoffs, we got swept 4-0. So it's a different type of playoff um, rhythm when it comes to playoff regular season. Teams play different. Different schemes are thrown out there. So don't always, oh, we lost to the Clippers three times in a row. Can we beat them in the playoffs? And LeBron is going to turn up in the playoffs. LeBron's going to have a great playoffs. I'm telling you guys right now. LeBron's going to have a classic playoffs. Same with AD. This Laker team is on something special, man. I'm telling you right now. When you see this Laker team click, we're, we're fun to watch. You know what I mean? It's just crazy how this Laker team is going to show everybody why we're the champions, man. LeBron's going to turn up, and I just want to win championship. You know? I don't miss any of the young core. I'm glad they're doing. Hear me, I tell you guys something. Like your nation, people listening to me on Sportscaster Live and Anchor app. Uh, <clears throat> I don't miss the young core. I don't miss Lonzo. I don't miss Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, you know, or Zubak, or Larry Nance, or Jordan Clarkson, because we got Anthony Davis. You know, I'm over the young core. So stop bringing up the young core to me. I don't miss them. You know, they're doing good in the Pelicans. They're doing good. Salute to you guys. You're having a great season. But we have Anthony Davis. If if an, a player like Anthony Davis comes on the table every time and I have a good young essence, I'm trading away every every young asset for Anthony Davis. 10 out of 10. Anthony Davis is dominant. Post up, fade away, dunk, block shots. He's everywhere on the court. You know what I mean? He can bring the ball up. He has ball handling skills. So it's just, it's just we got to get it going with him. You know, and, and everybody's asking on Twitter, Go follow me on Twitter, Big Baby Jonathan, if you haven't already. But if you do, go follow me there. Um, people on Twitter, the trolls on Twitter would be like, oh, Anthony Davis is going to Chicago. You really think Anthony Davis is going to go to the Chicago Bulls with Zach Levine, marketing, and Kobe White over LeBron James? Chicago Lakers. Chicago 
Lakers. AD's going to stay, man. That's just all speculation. Rich Paul is going to do the right thing for him. Um, Lakers are going to do the right thing. They're going to give him probably a max contract. You know, it's just he ain't leaving the Lakers. He ain't leaving the Lakers. I'm telling you that right now. He's not leaving L.A. You know, so what we need to do is we need, I guarantee you if we win the championship, you're going to see the next day resign with the Lakers. You know, here's the thing. If he didn't run, if he didn't, if he said, I'm not going to resign, I would, I would say Lakers, trade him at the deadline, get value. But he's going to talk to the Lakers after the season. He may take a meeting. He may not. Who knows what AD is going to do in the summer. But at the end of the day, he's going to resign with the Lakers. I'm excited for that. I'm just excited, man. Just excited. This is I'm going to be start doing a lot more of these sportscasters, live broadcast. People that listen to me on Anchor app, too. I'm doing sportscaster live right now, and I'm on Anchor app. And also, I'm going to end this Big Baby John, the sports podcast show. So if you have a YouTube channel, go subscribe to my podcast on YouTube, Big Baby Jonathan sports podcast show. Go subscribe to my Apple podcast. Go leave a um, subscribe to my channel on there and comment and leave a review. Follow me on Instagram, Big Baby Jonathan underscore. Go like my Facebook page, Big Baby Jonathan sports podcast show. And I'm going to end the show, man. Until then, you guys have a blessed night. Go Lakers, baby. Talk to you guys Friday night. Go Lakers.